Hi friends, it's Laurie here from Lemon Yoga and welcome back to another prenatal yoga video with me. Today I am taking you through a 10 minute prenatal bedtime yoga flow. So give this video a quick thumbs up, hit subscribe to join the Lemon Yoga family, let me know how many weeks pregnant you are at the time of practicing and let's get started in a wide leg child's pose. Melt the belly towards the ground. Extend those arms in front of you or relax your body over a great big cushion or bolster, depending on what week of pregnancy you're at. Now try walking your hands over to the right hand side. Place the left hand on top of the right and just breathe into the stretch. You should feel a stretch running through the left side of the body. Take deep breaths in and out, relaxing from the top of your head all the way down to the toes. Walk yourself to the left hand side, place the right hand on top of the left and start to breathe that space through the right side of the body. You're taking deep breaths in and out as you begin to relax and unwind here on your mat. <sighs> taking this time for you and your baby. Walk yourself through centre and rise onto all fours and begin to draw some really big releasing circles, rolling the body all the way forwards and all the way backwards and just trying to release through your spine, wiggling out any stiffness that may have built during the day. Find stillness in the centre now and then round the spine into a cat stretch. Inhale and find a flat back. Exhale as you round into cat stretch. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, round cat stretch. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, we round. Inhale, find length. And then from there, slide the side of the left leg through and begin to melt the body forwards over the left knee. So you're gently stretching and releasing into the hips without the stretch feeling too intense. Stay with your breath here. Let yourself relax. And then start to release, rise on up, keep the left leg where it is and just turn that right knee so that the leg is long and facing the ceiling. You'll then reach that left arm all the way towards your right leg, breathing into the hips, breathing space through the side of your bump and your body. Big breaths in and out. Just letting yourself relax further and further into the stretch. Now turn towards your leg that's long, your right leg, and begin to gently fold or tilt yourself forwards as far as you can comfortably go with your bump. Keep breathing. And then we'll begin to rise on up and swap sides. So the right leg will bend. You'll then bend that left knee behind. So the hips are square. And then gently tilt yourself forwards, breathing that space down into the hips. Let your back, your spine soften and relax here. Keep breathing.
and then gently rise on up turn that left knee so it's facing the ceiling the leg is long and reach your right arm all the way up and over into a lovely big side stretch breathing that space through the inner thigh through the hips big breaths in and out inhale exhale we'll release we'll turn towards the leg that's long the left leg and gently tilt ourselves forwards as far as you can comfortably go with your bump no forcing anything and just breathe a bit of space into the back of the leg let your whole body relax into the pose focus on the breath as that really helps us to soften and unwind Begin to slowly rise on up through seated. And here we'll slide the soles of the feet together for Baddha Let the knees fall wide. And then we could take a gentle fold forwards over our bumps towards the ground. And just let the body soften. Let those hips gently soften and open. Stay with it. And then we'll begin to slowly rise and we'll take a cross-legged position. Reach your right arm all the way up and over into a big side bend. Breathe the space into the side of the body. Let the sit bones melt towards the ground. And release and we'll go the other side. The left arm reaching and sweeping up and over. We melt the sit bones. We breathe space all the way through the side of the body. Big breaths in and out. And then we'll release, rise back through center and start to draw torso circles, rolling the body all the way forwards, all the way backwards. This is so great for releasing through the spine in pregnancy. Make sure you go both ways so you can get that really good release through the whole of the back of the body. Breathing in and out. Wiggle your way back through to centre and then slowly lower yourself down onto your left hand side. You can grab cushions here for between the knees and one under the head and rest your right hand onto baby. Take a moment to find softness through the whole body, melt the whole of the left side of the body to the ground. If you're at the stage of feeling movements from baby, notice any wiggles, any movements and use this time to connect even if you can't feel any movements from baby yet. Talk to your baby, say hello. Let baby know that you're here. Baby is so loved and you're so looking forward to meeting them soon or sometime in the next few months. And also use this time for yourself. Know that it's important that you take this time to relax and let go each day. It's so important in pregnancy that we take this time. When you're ready, you can come out of this pose really slowly or you can stay here and press pause on the video now. I want to take a moment to say thank you so much for joining me for this 10 minute prenatal bedtime yoga flow. I really hope you enjoyed this bedtime practice. 
If you did, leave me a comment and let me know. And of course, hit subscribe to join the Lemon Yoga family. I would absolutely love to have you here and I've got plenty of prenatal content already on my channel, including lots of inducing labour naturally videos. I will see you very soon for the next one. Take care. Bye guys.